Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to be giving an introduction to the procedural generation framework, which is going to be introduced in Unreal Engine version 5.2. If you want to test it out and follow along, you can download a preview version of Unreal Engine 5.2, which is available on the Epic Games launcher. It's in preview, so it may be a bit buggy and some features may be removed later on. Okay, so I've opened up a project in Unreal Engine 5.2. And in order to enable the procedural generation tools, we just need to go over to edit, then select plugins. Then if we just look for the procedural content generation framework and just make sure it's checked and then restart your Unreal Engine. So once the plugin has loaded and you've restarted your editor, we're now ready to use it. So we're going to procedurally design a mini forest. So I'm going to create a new map. So I'm going to file new level, select basic. And I'm just going to delete the floor here and I'm going to go to my mode and change this to be landscape. And then I'm just going to quickly generate a small landscape. And we're going to basically use the PCG plugin to procedurally generate a forest level. So I'm just going to change this back to selection. Then if we go to quickly add things to the project and we can just look for PCG. And here it is, PCG volume. We just want to select this and then just place this somewhere in your map. And I'm also just going to expand my PCG box. So mine's like 15 in the X, 19 in the Y, and 6 in the Z. So now we're ready to use this. To use this, we just want to select the PCG volume and then select this PCG component scroll down and then we want to go to the instance graph and just select it and go PCG graph and just call this our forest level. So inside of here, we're going to be able to design our procedurally generated forest. If we just double click and open up this forest level PCG graph, it's going to be kind of similar to how our blueprint event graph is. We can basically write and use some nodes to kind of control what this does. We just want to click this little arrow and just drag off landscape height and look for surface sampler. This will kind of allow us to get the surface of what our PCG is on. And from here, we're gonna be able to kind of generate our procedural forest. We just wanna go back and open this up. If we just select this and right click and go debug, and I'm just gonna close this. And if we just scroll down and click generate, it is going to load in all the potential areas where it's going to spawn some meshes for us in our PCG volume. So if I just adjust this so I can make this smaller, we can see it will adjust. I can move this here. It will adjust. I can make this wider and it will adjust. And if I just right click here and I go inspect and then I go here to where it says no debug object selected and select my PCG volume, it's gonna tell me information about all of the potential areas where it's gonna spawn some meshes. Next, let's make it so it will spawn some meshes instead of these debug squares. So I'm just gonna open up my PCG graph and I'm just gonna remove the debug and we can just drag off here and look for static mesh and we want this one, static mesh spawner. And if I just select this, then go to mesh entries and I'm just gonna add an element here I can decide what type of mesh is going to spawn. So I have a tree model in my project, so I'm just going to make it spawn that. So here it is SM tree full two, and then I'm just going to connect this into the output here. And I'm just going to close this. And as we can see, it has generated a lot of trees, although they all kind of look a bit evenly spread out. We can adjust how they look inside of this PCG graph. So if I open this up and I select this surface sampler, I can change the density of the trees in this volume. So if I make this something like 0.05, then they're gonna be a lot less trees. I can make this 0.01 and they'll be even less. I'm just gonna change this back to 0.1. I can also change the looseness. I think this changes like how close together the trees are. So if I make this smaller, it seems they're very dense. And if I make this a bit bigger, then they're less dense. I'm just gonna expand my volume a bit because it's getting a bit tight. 
And then another thing with this PCG graph is that there are seeds and each seed will be different. So if I make this seed five, then it's gonna lay out the trees in a completely different way. I can make this seed 899 and then they'll be in a different way. I can also add some more meshes. So it's not just spawning this one singular tree mesh. So if I select my static mesh spawner and then go add, I'm gonna add another type of mesh. So I have another type of tree. So I'm just gonna look for my second tree. So I think it's called tree one. And now it's gonna be a mix between my tree one and my tree two. And we can also kind of adjust like what percentage of trees it will spawn. So maybe I want it so it spawns slightly more of tree two than tree one. And what I can do is right now we can see that this has a weight of one and this also has a weight of one. So in combination, there's a total weight of two. If I made this have a weight of say, let's say two, then they're gonna be more of these trees than um, the other trees. So we have a total weight of three and I've made this weight two and this weight one. So now if I just go play, I'm gonna have this procedurally generated um, forest that I made. So that's all of this tool that I've explored so far. It seems pretty cool and I'm excited for its full release in Unreal Engine 5.2. Do you want more tutorials on this? If you enjoyed, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.